it's Raquel Bowman here and today I'm creating a layout with the January hip kits. I have received the February kits on my doorstep this morning so I'll make sure I'll do an um, unboxing video very shortly but what I wanted to do first is create another layout with these kits because they're so gorgeous. So because they have a lot of love themed embellishments and you could scrapbook not only husbands or partners but you could also scrapbook people that you love. Uh, I decided to add another one to my wedding album so this is the photo that I'm scrapbooking from our wedding day and what I've decided to do with this layout is I've decided to focus a lot and use a lot of embellishments so instead of using a lot of papers and layers of papers I've decided to do something a bit different and I have thought about this before because I was just sitting and staring at this photo and thinking of what I was going to do for far too long so I decided to just start pulling things out and seeing where it took me so what I've got is a lot of the chipboard I haven't taken the adhesive off this yet uh, a lot of the chipboard from the chipboard 12 by 12 sheet and what I thought that I would do is sort of arrange them horizontally across the page and use a few different bits and pieces and sort of make a bit of a embellishment block I guess although it's clearly not in a block design but this is sort of what I was thinking prior to something like this I don't know and then um, I'll work on this other side as well I've grabbed out some vellum and I thought all I'm going to do which is very different for me is maybe pop a little bit of vellum behind my photo and then I grabbed out this paper now this one I've used this already but this is the second piece of this paper I have from the extra pattern paper kit and I was thinking I want to run a strip along the top and the bottom and the reason that I normally will do that is so that your attention comes back to the middle of the page so I thought I could play on these arrows again like I did my previous layout and have the arrows at the top of the page pointing downwards and then the arrows at the bottom of the page pointing up so that the arrows are directing your attention as well as how the papers are sitting on the layout and then I was going to use this side as well because this side is sort of a pinky peach colour but it coordinates this is my mind's eye paper but it coordinates perfectly with this crepe paper peachy pinky colour in the embellishment so I'll bring that in as well on that bottom section somehow and yeah I'm just going to build sort of a clustering of embellishments across the middle I think it will look I'm hoping that it will <laughs> look nice um, and I'm also going to use which I've used before on videos I was thinking I'll use my embossing powder and I'll glitterize these wood veneer pieces and I've also found a little arrow as well that I was going to put there to bring your attention so I use arrows for the purpose of drawing your attention back to where I want normally so yeah I was going to use that one as well so that's my aim for this little session I've taken away my black um, mat again I feel like maybe this way is better although I didn't really have a lot of feedback on how the black mat looked on my videos looking back on them I think I prefer it this way so we'll see and yeah I'll speed you up and I'll get creating okay so I'm starting by cutting the vellum to go under my photo and I'm just cutting that slightly larger than a 4 by 6 so that I can mat the photo and it won't have a lot showing but it's you know a border enough that you know it's there I'm just folding up the corners like I like to do and this is probably the first time in a long time that I haven't added any other paper layers apart from a doily to the back of my photo but I'm actually really happy with how the layout 
turned out in the end considering it was a little bit different. So I'm just sticking down those chipboard pieces and I know that's where I want them and I'll, they've still got a bit of, bit of adhesive on them so I am just going to pop them straight on. And now what I'm doing is using my crochet thread just tying the bows or yeah bows onto the tops of the tags and I actually do that to the other tags off camera that I was wanting on the layout as well so I don't do that on camera to you. I'm sticking shock horror here sticking my photo down now I never ever ever do it this early but I felt like to be able to stick down all the rest of my embellishments and get them where I wanted them I needed that photo down so it took me a while to get it exactly where I wanted it but um, and I used my t-square ruler to help me get it centered but uh, yeah I'm sticking it a lot earlier than usual uh, so here I'm popping on that red I love you tag from the tag pack I think yes it was from the tag pack and that gorgeous gold a chipboard piece that said you and me and then I remembered that I also had these stickers so any sort of blank spaces in this little grouping of embellishments that I'm doing I knew that I'd be able to fill some with those stickers so I thought that was perfect I've grabbed out as well the wood veneer from the hello love pack and I am aiming as I mentioned earlier to emboss those and I did also use the December calendar card from the Hello Love, one of the papers in the collection and in our kits. And I like that that sort of told the date without me needing to stamp it or add any date stamp or any extra journaling. Because really this page and lots of the wedding pages that I've been doing don't need that extra journaling. Apologies for my head there. Um, yeah, I haven't needed that extra journaling because there's not much to say. They're just wedding photos, basically. So just a cutesy title will work. Uh, and I added a border strip from the sticker sheet. I'm in love with it. Sort of a diagonal gold foil strip. And I've sort of just popped that under where the frame is and it's really just to have something to ground some of those embellishments on. I don't know I just felt like it needed something and when I saw that I thought that was perfect. Can you believe I'm sticking already? Yeah I am totally sticking stuff down. <laughs> Go me! So I put my liquid adhesive and I was sticking down some of the chipboard pieces and ephemera and now what I'm doing is using my Ranger Emboss It dabber as I just showed you then to apply that embossing liquid to the wood veneer pieces and I'm just shaking them off a little bit yep got glue that absolutely everywhere as per usual and then I'm going to attempt to use my tweezers to hold the wood veneer in place while I heat it up because as you know it gets really really hot when you're embossing so I show you how I've embossed one. Luckily there's no sound because it is quite noisy and that was finished and then I won't show you the rest. I've just cut that out but I did do that sort of tab that I'm gluing on now with the embossing and also the arrow and another heart and they were perfect really. I was really happy with how they turned out. As I've said before that actual embossing powder is just the nicest glittery finish ever and I can't find I want the copper and I want the silver and I cannot find it anywhere and it's killing me but I'm sure that if I keep looking or if I stop looking it will be somewhere so hopefully I'll be able to pick some of that up soon because it's I think it's a must have for my stash right now I'm adding in just finishing touches of some stickers and veneer pieces and I'm just loving this whole collection and these, these January kits. They are just beautiful. Then as I mentioned I was going to do this whole strip thing and I just didn't like it. I felt like it 
cut my layout it was too harsh and I just it just wasn't gonna be happening so what I decided to do in the end was add some stitching and I thought that that is border enough and that I wanted the feature to remain on those embellishments and that was where I finished it so I hope you really like this video and this layout today I'll definitely be back soon with some more and yeah stay tuned to my channel uh, subscribe if you don't already and give me a comment if there's anything that you think I need to know and I'll see you on YouTube shortly bye everyone